good day learners. So today we are going to have another lesson which is about angle of depression. But before that, let me just give you the correct answer on the previous activity regarding angle of elevation. So last time we were asked to find out the distance from the base of the building to the observer and the correct answer is 53.85 feet. Alright, so let us start the discussion about angle of depression. So what is an angle of depression? So it is the angle formed between the horizontal line and the line of sight of the observer to the object below. So from the word itself, depression, so meaning a state of being down, kaya nga dito nirelate natin sa mga bagay which are below us. But at, time, at times like this, sa pandemic na ito, I hope no one is uh, undergoing depression. I hope we are choosing to uh, look at the positive sides of things and let us keep the faith, we will get through this together. So, going back to the lesson, so since the angle of depression is the, the angle formed between the horizontal line, kahit po ang observer ay nasa taas, we still have the horizontal line. So that is here. So this is the horizontal line, and the line of sight of the observer is from the observer's eye up to the object being observed below. So it could be located here. Alright, so let us now apply our knowledge of the angle of depression in a problem. So here is the problem. From the top of a fire tower, a forest ranger sees his partner on the ground at an angle of depression of 40 degrees. If the tower is 45 feet in height, so we can say that this is a 45 feet. How far is a partner from the base of the tower? So we are looking for this side. Now where can we locate the angle of depression? So again, ang sabi, a forest ranger sees his partner on the ground at an angle of depression of 40 degrees. Take note of this. Angle of depression is, ne is never inside the triangle. So if this is the triangle, the angle of depression is located here. Again, the angle of depression is between the horizontal line and the light, line of sight of the observer. So 40 degrees should be located here. Now, how are we going to solve a problem or a triangle wherein the angle is outside the triangle? So we have this, um, what we call the uh, transversal line. So you can still remember, if two lines are cut by a transversal, the outer and interior angles are congruent. We have this concept which is a, I, A, C. Alternate interior angles are congruent. The transversal is this. Okay? Ito yung like, silving transversal line natin. Yung line of sight. Okay? Now, if these are the two horizontal lines and this is the, horizon, this is the transversal line, meaning these alternate interior angles are congruent. Meaning, if the angle of depression here is 40 degrees, the measure of this angle is also 40 degrees because they are alternate interior angles. Now, applying again the trigonometric ratio so katoa, we may look for the distance between the four forest rangers um, partner to the base of the tower. So how? So since the angle 40 degrees is already located inside the triangle, we may now find out the label or the parts of the right triangle. So the part which is given, which is the height of the tower, would be the opposite side. This side, once again, is the adjacent side. And this line of sight is the hypotenuse. Anyway, we won't be using the hypotenuse in this problem. So, since we are after the distance between the forest ranger's partner and the base of the tower, that's the adjacent, Given, given the opposite, which is the height of the tower, 45 feet, we are going to use TOA. So we are looking for A. Given the opposite, we are going to use tangent, theta, 
equals opposite over the adjacent side. And again, the theta now is the alternate third angle, which is 40 degrees, equals the opposite side 45 over the adjacent side, which is the distance from the uh, force failure's quarter to the base of the tower. Alright, let us now solve for the adjacent side. So for us to get the adjacent side, once again, we may cross multiply or multiply both sides by the adjacent. So that will become adjacent times tangent 40 degrees equals 45. Now since we are just after the adjacent side, we have to eliminate the tangent 40 degrees. How? We may divide both sides by tangent 40 degrees. Eliminated. So the adjacent now would be equal to the quotient of 45 and tangent 40 degrees. Using your calculators, you just have to press 45 divided by tangent 40 degrees. So you are going to get, again, round your answer to the nearest hundreds or two decimal places. That would be 53.63 feet. So this is now the distance between the forest ranger's partner and the base of the tower. So that's 53.63 feet. That's it. So once again, I'm leaving you an activity. So from the top of a vertical cliff, 48 meters high, the angle of depression of an object that is level with the base of the cliff is 34 degrees. How far is the object from the base of the cliff? So I hope you're going to spend some time in solving this problem. And thank you to everyone who are um, uh, doing the activity that I'm giving each video. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Let's